Hello there everyone, my name is Identity and welcome to another Weapons Reaction. This is where we'll take a look at a fan made weapon and see if it needs a nerf, a buff, or can we just throw it right into the actual game of TF2. Without further ado, let's take a look at Scout's new weapon. Introducing the Corkscrew. This is a very unique weapon in my opinion. It shows a lot of aspects of whoever made it is a definite scout main. Due to the fact that this weapon is very similar to a lot of scouts other primaries while still having some aspects of it that keep it normal. That way the weapon doesn't feel forced, rush, or look too out of place in Scout's lineup. But that's enough rambling for now. Let's get on to the video and see what this thing can do. And right off the bat, we can see what this thing is made to do. A crap ton of damage. This is what sets it apart from most of the other scout weapons. This thing can do a whole bunch of damage from a very far distance from scout. Most people who have ever played, say, Soldier, Engineer, Pyro, and obviously Scout, know that aiming with a shotgun isn't the easiest and most reliable weapon. While true, it can get someone out of your face, from a very far distance, it's usually a poor choice. But this weapon laughs at those aspects, considering it as long as they're at a medium distance, where the default shotgun or scattergun will do abysmal damage, forcing you to get closer. This one is keeping you pretty cozy right up close, or far away. Definitely a bit more of an aggressive playstyle, not to mentioning we have a throwable ball projectile. Which, up close, can do 200 damage plus setting your opponent on frigging fire. My flesh it burns! Okay, that is ridiculous. A scout weapon that at an incredibly far distance can do 88 damage or at least 70 if you get a random crit. To anyone who does not play TF2 regularly, that is enough damage to make you run back to spawn and heal up. So the fact that this is what the scout weapon can, can do at a far distance with say a random crit or a crit's creed, that is a very scary weapon to be wary of. Not to mentioning we don't know what this one could do with a crit right up close or with that soldier KO ball attack. <laughs>
This is an interesting little touch-in that will go against most scout players. When the Sandman has been introduced as one of the oldest weapons in TF2, players very easily got used to running over to their balls to pick them up. I find it very strange that this weapon makes you practically ignore them. But, considering that the weapon can one-shot a soldier if you run up to them at the distance of a force of nature, that makes it pretty understandable to why they don't want people being able to stockpile on this ability. This is the change that makes this weapon way worth a fight. The fact that this thing has so very little bullet spread, that is what is killing everything so quickly. The fact that the bullet spread here, as you can very clearly see, is abysmal compared to, of course, the force of nature and almost any other shotgun. And I like how they used the force of nature here to compare because that is who I feel would be using this weapon the most. When people grab the force of nature, it's to either dish out that heavy damage or because they like being able to triple jump, but usually it's the damage output that's loved more. The fact that this weapon can do almost double what the force of nature can do minus the ability to jump more is pretty scary. Especially when you can still consider that more damage you do means some more random crits, meaning you're almost guaranteed to land more random crits with this weapon than you are with the force of nature. So keep that in mind when it's being made. And again, this is the output of where we have where it is similar in stock. Notice how when the source of nature is shot, it freaking throws everyone. But the two suckers stay in place. This is definitely what can still make people want to stay with the force of nature, which I think was most certainly needed. I'm honestly gonna say that if Pyro couldn't air blast these balls, this would be getting way too overpowered. Fire! 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 Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Final judgment. I do kind of like the ideas this weapon brings out. The idea of a scout weapon that rewards you for being more aggressive and throwing yourself in that line of danger is a nice touch from scouts regular use the force of nature to distract everyone while the rest of the team takes on all the kills and carries the point. This scout weapon, though, does suffer from some major flaws. The damage in the... Th and our projectile ball is way too high. On top of it can set the opponent on fire. I feel that this weapon should not though be doing 200 damage at a close range. That needs to be filtered down immensely. Another issue that most scout mains tend to complain about is the fact that stock is the only scout weapon that can go to six bullets. 
I personally feel that this weapon would benefit from that amount as the long term as the damage output it can still dish out with the reduced bullet spread would make this an incredible weapon and still a definite fear. But finally, most of all, the 200 soldier KO ball throw needs to be dumbed down. This should not be doing any more than 30 damage at the most, while still keeping the whole setting your opponent on fire. This will still benefit Scout, give Pyros more use in supporting their teammates, and finally, can make the sun on a stick a decent weapon. Comboing it with this one will allow Scout to dish out infinite crits. And considering that the fire does stay on for quite some time, with it being a projectile, this can make for some pretty decent kills on anything that isn't a pyro. The one thing I love about finding fan-made weapons is when they can support pre-existing weapons, especially ones that be needing some love and care. Anyways, that's my video. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next battle. Bye-bye.